This gentleman here has a alley catch jersey, and he also doesn't know how to pull up his pants. I should have told him that all night, but. Oh, there, there they go. They just went up. Alley catch putting on the Patriots jersey. Oh, 111. That's her IQ. I wonder what that smells like. Oh, that guy was wearing it all night. Yeah, probably smells like throw up in a dirty diaper in a hot car in San Diego. From Westchester, Pennsylvania, Pro Wrestling's Angel, the notorious Mimi. It's not even a good Patriots jersey either. It's one of those Chinese knockoffs. Man, nobody in football wears three numbers. No. From the great state of Texas, she wants me to inform you that she is Mommy! I thought Bobby I thought Orlando. Bobby Orlando. Yeah. I thought Bobby Orlando was Mommy. Oh, I can imagine Bobby right now pacing up and down the hallway out back. He's so pissed. And doing sick tricks. Yes. As here we go, Alley Catch one on one with the notorious Mimi here at Water Water Everywhere. Paul Cockett joined alongside Sydney Bacabella here for the action. I still can't get over that line about Rich Palladino breastfeeding, but we'll, we'll get back to that at another time after I get the vomit out of my mouth. Great job there by Mimi on the arm ringer. Something as simple as that, for a lot of people, that takes a long time to perfect. It really does, and oh. And they're having a conversation here. I think she's trying to seduce her like those weird movies you watch, Paul. The weird movies? That's you. Where they take the clothes off? No, that's Rich. Oh. Rich watches those. As here we go, Mimi tries the up and over. Alley catch right there, ready and waiting, trying to. We don't have a pretzel. We don't, I mean, we could. He's kind of a floozy. She goes from Doug to Mimi to Effie. Like, what's going on here? Listen, I don't judge people's lifestyles. I think they're all great. I do. As there is the fireman's carry. Whatever she wants to do, that's great. But I, I do think she should at least focus on the match right now. Yes, because Mimi will catch you with a knee to the chin like she just did and take control. As there she goes neck first on that second rope. Nicely done there. As Mimi gets Alley Catch down, focusing on the contest at hand, hooks the leg, and maybe that uh, attempt at seduction is working against Alley Catch. Here. Yeah, Alley's focused on the wrong thing, all right? When you're focused on trying to seduce someone, you, you're not gonna beat them because you're gonna show compassion. That's why I've never fallen in love with anyone I've ever managed. Well, that's good for you. Except John Studd. What? And now Mimi forcing, oh, and just knife edge chops. As here we go. Tries that chop, hits the top turnbuckle. Now Irish whip reversed. Into the corner goes Mimi, hits the big boot, down goes Alley Catch. And she went down in the heat. That boot caught her right under the chin. There was no defense for that. Gonna try that snap suplex. Executes it, makes the cover. You can see Allie fighting to get off the mat, but Mimi putting her back down on the mat, only getting a two. You know, maybe Alley Cat should have been given the shirt with the 69 on it right there in the front. I mean, what? Will you calm, calm down? I want that shirt. Calm down. I'm sure you can find it somewhere else, as now Mimi trying to find a victory. And just basic knee lifts, knocking the chin and the cheek, trying to knock Alley Catch out. That may be a great strategy. Charges up, misses with that high knee lift. So here we go, charges. There is a boot by Mimi to the chin. Mimi fighting hard here. She knows how important this victory would be. Up top. Oh, an elbow right on the chin. Mimi is out. Alley catches down. 
We have a stalemate here at Foxborough. Yeah, that elbow, I mean, the body momentum. Mimi was in the air and Alley Cats didn't get out of the way fast enough to both competitors down. Alley Catch slow to get to her feet. So is Mimi, as they are about to meet in the center of the ring. Blocks that one. There's a boot. Look at Mimi. I'm impressed by this fight that she had. Oh, oh well, that went out the window. There's a splash in the corner. Look at Allie feeling that momentum. Charges in with the cannonball. Cannonball into the pool of Mimi. Mimi able to get that shoulder up, but Alley Catch definitely feeling it now. And she is on a roll. Can she keep that momentum going here against the notorious Mimi? Calling for, uh, well, you heard it. No, I didn't. What'd she say? Not you heard it as Mimi charges and misses. There's a kick to the right arm of Alley Catch. Hits the crossbody. Only a count of two. Only two and Mimi now trying to come up with that next plan. Maybe that's the weakness in Mimi is that she doesn't think fast enough. Goes for a shot. It looks like both competitors were a little uneasy about which direction to go in next, but forget about that. Ali caught that it. Knee. Kick to the side of the head. That could do it. Shoulder up. Referee Tyler Calloway says that was just a two. Looking at Allie right now, you see confidence on her face. She knows she has Mimi in a position of defense that Mimi may not be able to, to fight out of. Gonna try for that pile driver here. Mimi fighting it. Ducks the clothesline. And again. Whoa. And a stalemate of sorts. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Mimi tries a spinning back kick. Cradle. Got her. Allie catches your winner. Oh, Doug trying to get in on this. Doug trying to get in. Come on, Doug. Let it happen, brother. What what is what is he doing out here? He's trying to weasel his way into that fun. What is he what is he saying to them? Doesn't he have a fiance? Yeah, this guy's a pest. He's a pervert. What? I don't know what he just said, but he's whatever he said just got a good response. From Allie and Mimi here. Doug's setting up the after party. Oh, will you calm down? You wish. You've never been to an after party in your life. I don't go to those things anymore. Anymore? You were never invited to one. Yeah. 